Hey, what's up guys? And you might be wondering why I'm starting today's video looking in a toolbox. Well, that's because we're fixing something that I broke. This here go-kart. I do have a go-kart that I use a lot and... Well, now it's broken. We have this right here. There's supposed to be a clutch. That clutch is taken apart over here. And right here, there's supposed to be two springs. But one spring is not in the correct place. And after looking closely, you can, oh, well, you can tell this is not supposed to be like this. Yeah, it's falling apart. So, what happened, this might be that the problem is if your go-kart is either running at a really high RPM or really low RPM. Because the clutch isn't adjusting right, so. I have a whole bunch of spare parts from another clutch that was broken. And I fixed that. But some parts may be reusable. Like this. Nope. That spring's broken too. Exact thing. There. Now how do I get this apart? Okay. So, first I'm gonna try and take this apart. That was easy. What was that stuff that fell? That's the remains of this when it blew up. It blew up? Is yeah. this from the go-kart? Mm-hmm. This is the old one. So basically, if you have a spare spring... Ow, this keeps getting hot because it's in the sun. If you have a spare spring, you can just wrap it around. For this kind of engine, you have you have this middle part that goes inside, and there's a little edge right there, which kind of forms a rectangle. You need to make sure that part goes in first, because right here, it locks it in place with the clutch, so it should pop right in there, just like that. Then you have this notch, which goes right on the little thing on the shaft. And then for what? For unscrewing this, it'll... If you get a wrench and try to turn it, it'll just spin the engine. And the pull start won't work because it's spinning the way the engine's supposed to go. And the pull start pulls opposite. So what I do is I put this on here. And I get it. This thing. And I hold it and then twist. But for tightening it, I go over to the other side. And pull the pull start to where it engages. And then you can twist it. And there you go. And installing the belt. It's not the best to stretch it over it. But since I already have it on, I'm just going to... Because I forgot. So, you have one flat edge. And then you have a slanted edge. So, flat, slanted. And for that, the slanted edge goes facing out because there's more of a slant in there, more of an angle. And just wrap it around there. And it's done. Brand new.